Welcome back, everybody. Here to take holiday leftovers to a whole new level. Everyone, please welcome Chef Christine Tizzard. Hi, Hi. Hey, how are you? How are you doing, Darren? I'm great. Uh, we were talking uh, earlier. I was going to say, you being a chef, you must always get stuck with cooking everything for the holidays. Did you this Actually, year? Actually, I lucked out this year. You did? This year, I lucked out. This year, I'm not doing it. But you're right. I, I mean, but I like to cook, so I like having everyone over. And I always make way too much. Everyone always does, right? That's yes. the whole thing. Yes. And we're going to deal with all the leftovers right now. And I love my leftovers. Like, I love working with leftovers leftovers and using them up and finding interesting ways to, to, to use them up. I think it's great. Um, and this is one of the easiest ways to use up your leftovers. We're just going to make a really simple turkey pot pie. Turkey pot pie. Yeah. But a rustic turkey pot pie. A rustic. rustic. Or, yes. Right? But rustic. Keyword. So rustic. what are we going to start with, huh? <laughs> so turkey pot pie, we're going to be using a lot of leftovers, but I still want to infuse this pie with a lot of flavor. So right. first I'm starting out with a base of aromatics. Right. So this is kind of like a mirepoix. I have leeks in here. I have onions, a little bit of butter, a couple bay leaves, and okay. some garlic. And you're just sort of like just melting those down? I also threw a little bit of celery in here as well. So okay. we have all this nice and softened. I'll season it with your salt, a salt. And pepper. Perfect. And if you are hosting a big Thanksgiving dinner, hopefully people have brought wine. You're so gonna have some just to glaze wine. it yeah. a little bit. A little bit of acidity is always nice in these type of type of dishes. It just adds an extra layer of flavor. Even if you have a beer kicking around the back of the fridge, even the beer in a little there. Bit really? of beer in there. So just something. A little bit of acidity. Just less acidity. Okay, yeah. That's interesting. So I'm gonna let that reduce just yep. slightly. And, and then we're gonna move here. over here. So now we're gonna talk about the leftovers, All right? Of our leftovers. So we've got uh, you know your peas and your uh, you know your we corn, have your the potatoes, typical things. Of we have peas. We have broccoli. We have corn. I'm just going to give these a quick chop, just breaking so them up a little what bit. What wouldn't you put in here? You know what I mean? Like you said, you know, we can use all the leftovers, but you know, like something like a like a candied yam. You know, eh, what are you not doing so cooking much. candied yams? I know. What, I don't. I could never imagine. I, who would ever cook a candied yam? But <laughs> you wouldn't want a sweet in here, right? Um, I wouldn't particularly do a sweet in here right. because we're going to top this with our starch. Yeah. I would try to pack this with our protein and our vegetables. Right. Right. So I'm going to put the carrots in here. We can put our turkey, leftover turkey, so that's our light and, and dark, dark meat, meat. Yep. combination of both. And then any leftover vegetables you have kicking around. Make it pile it nice and high. Yep, if you yep. can give that a mix, that yep. would be and great. Just mix this around, yep. I have this, Beautiful. which we'll your, add in as well, and this your, is gonna create a great layer of flavor. Now, do you wanna layer them or do you wanna mix them all up? I just mix them all just up. Just mix them all up? I mean, you okay. could layer them if you wanted to get super fancy, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. we're talking like leftovers here. It's the day after, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, I just right? wanna throw everything in there and put it, it in the ain't oven. Ain't no wanna be cooking right now. It's like, <laughs> no, yeah, get me out of the kitchen, yeah. The other thing I find about like Christmas, Thanksgiving, these holidays is I always buy Tons of herbs. Tons of herbs. So yeah. I and always, again, you have bags of them. Yeah, and or you those don't know little clamshells yeah. kicking around the back of the yeah, fridge. Yeah. So this is another great way to use up these herbs. So this is just a mixture of chopped herbs. Sprinkle that on top. That's going to be really nice and fresh and fragrant. And we need the sauce. And we're talking gravy now. If we have right now leftover gravy, leftover now, if, gravy. If just we pour don't, it on top. What, what should we do if we don't have leftover gravy? You know, it's really easy to make a simple gravy because yeah. in that pan with the aromatics, we could have very easily thrown two tablespoons of flour, added some chicken stock, and let that thicken up. Simple cornstarch slurry, and then you know, and then, then, then you yeah, have yeah, your simple sauce all easy. ready to go. Perfect. So now comes the fun part. Our mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, yeah. So we're going to do this nice and rustic. So this is not cement here, guys. We're not gonna like <laughs> just take and trowel the it knife on and trowel it on and perfectly. trowel it on like no? cement. We're gonna that, try to make it look a that's little. That's what I would do. Now, if you pretty. don't. And now, so you're saying, so if we had the leftover pumpkin or squash, this we would mix it in with I this with potatoes and squash. For this. Anything. Yeah, fantastic. Other thing, and now, here leftover we go. stuffing. You can make like little oh, mini yeah, yeah, ones yeah, 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 and put yeah. leftover stuffing on top. That would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. So I like to leave, leave a little bit of a border. So okay. when you serve it, people can kind of see what's inside. And also in the oven, it's going to bubble up over the mashed potatoes. And we're making like little yeah, swirls, right? Yeah, let's swirl it all around like a there. chocolate cake. Here's the thing. So we could over bake this, couldn't we? If you're going to put it in the oven, you don't want to really like cook it. Like Everything's already through. been cooked. Right. So, so we're just all we're it. doing is we're reheating it. So I find 400 degrees. Yep. We're gonna put that in. Make a nice little okay. swirl, a nice little indent. Oh, this will probably take something this size will probably take about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Oh, that's it. But if you want to do little smaller ones, like 10 minutes, you're just waiting for wow. the tops to 
for the top to be nice and brown. And just to bubble through. And for that to bubble up around the edges. And beautiful. when we're done, we're gonna we end up with something here, that looks just, just like beautiful. this. I mean, you can see yeah, how pretty gorgeous. it looks. Isn't that lovely? The nice little swirls and everything. And what a beautiful, beautiful leftover. So let's serve that up and... Uh, so I'm gonna get a nice piece of this. And of course, if you do have any more leftover gravy, just slather just that slather right on top. And serve it up with leftover cranberry, leftover of course, cranberry because it's all the sauce. flavors all going together, right? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is... Like a meal, complete meal in one. Well, it's, oh, oh look yeah, at that. are you kidding? That's a big meal in one, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. Meal in one. We're gonna run to break for our quick sweetheart, and what are we doing after the break, huh? Oh, we're gonna do Thanksgiving and a waffle. Thanksgiving and a waffle. Yeah. I love that idea. Let's do a break, guys. Nice green salad on, on the top. side.